Lesson 48, this is Algebra 1, and this one is on polynomials, degree, and then addition of polynomials. Now, the most important part of this lesson is the addition of polynomials. Okay, so I'm going to teach it first, and then I'm going to go back and teach the other two, but they're really not that important. Okay, so I'm going to um, teach that part first, and then we'll go back and just kind of review those real quick. Okay, for example, here's what it says. Add this and write the answer in descending order. Now, I'll explain to you what I mean by that. So, <clears throat> here's the problem. x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2 plus 2x cubed, I'm running out of room, plus 4. Okay? Now, Honestly, because this is an adding problem, you're adding this plus this, you don't even have to have the parentheses in there. It's not a big deal. So basically what this problem ends up becoming is you seeing x3s as elephants. Remember, whenever you're taking x3, x2, etc., um, you have to see them like animals or their own entity. So x squares are like tigers. If there are any X's, which I don't think there are in this one, dogs, and then numbers would be like cats. Okay, so what you're going to do is we have, now I'm going to, it helps me to go 1 X3 because this X3 indicates that I have one elephant. Okay, this one has three tigers and then two cats. This one has two elephants and four cats. Basically, all you're going to do is underline or figure out, and you're going to add your like terms. So I have one elephant here, so I'm going to put three lines since it's a three. Three lines here, and this one's a three line two, okay, because it's the x cubed, x cubed. This one has two, so I'm going to put two lines, and this one has none, so I'm going to leave it blank, none and none, okay, just to help me. And if it helps you, you can circle it or something like that. Okay, so now I just add my like terms. I add my elephants together, I add my tigers together, I add my dogs, and I add my dad, cats. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I have one elephant plus two elephants makes three elephants plus 3x squared, and that's the only one, plus two cats and four cats makes six cats. And descending order is 3, 2, 1. Okay. We don't go 6 plus 3x squared plus 3x cubed. We write it in descending order. Okay? And that's pretty much how you do every one of them. Okay? So try this one on your own, on your paper, and let's see how you do with it. Ready? I'm going to start over here a little bit better. 3x to the fourth power minus 2x squared plus 3 minus, now that's important, and I'm going to talk about that before you start, x4 minus 2x cubed plus x squared. And I'm going to try to do that. Okay, first thing I would do is just the x's, I'm going to put a 1. So that shows me I have 1 x squared, 1 tiger, whatever. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is all my minuses within the parentheses, I'm going to change to plus negative. Minuses within the parentheses plus negative. Got it? Now, this minus here, you're actually going to take and apply to every single number here. So this minus becomes plus negative. Minus becomes plus positive. It changes every single one of these plus negative. See how I did that? That negative changed every single one of these, and that's important for you to know. All right? Oh, I forgot to put a 1 in front of this one. Sorry. 1x4 right here. Okay. Now, we do um, our underlinings. Okay, and so I had another creature snake. So 4, I'm going to underline 4 times. 3s, I'm going to underline 3 times. That's the only one. 2s, I'm going to underline twice. The squares up here twice, and then the numbers, I'm just going to circle. There are no x's. Okay, so now let's take the ones that have the 4. So I have 3x plus a negative 1, or 3x to the 4th power plus a negative 1 to the 4th power becomes 2x to the 4th power. Got me? 
No with those. Now let's do our threes because we're writing them in descending order. I've got my 2x squared plus 2x, I'm sorry, 2x to the cubed, 2x cubed. Done with that one. Are there any twos? Yes, there are. This one and this one. Negative 2x squared plus a negative 1x squared becomes a negative 3x squared. Done with those. And then I have plus 3 at the end. Okay, you should have done 2x to the 4th power plus 2x to the 3rd power plus negative 3x to the 2nd power. Some people just like to put a minus right there. Plus 3. Got it? Yep. Feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, and the next one is just like the first one. So, that is that, okay? That is lesson 48. Oh, I'm gonna go on and teach on those polynomials and degrees real quick, okay? If you look in your book real quick at one page 192, polynomials, you can see several different polynomials, okay? Polynomials are a number with um, an exponent of some kind, okay? Poly means many. So, let me explain something to you really quick. Uh, for example, uh, let me, yeah, here's one. 4a squared plus m squared plus 4. Okay, this one would be a trinomial. Now, let me explain something to you. It's still a polynomial because it has many nomials. <laughs> okay, but this one is a tri. Why? Because 1, 2, 3. The, the adding separates them. A binomial would look like that, two. A monomial, mono, means one, would look like that, okay? But they're all considered polynomials. It includes them all. Polynomials are all of them. Monomials, binomials, trinomials, quadrinomials, whatever, okay? So that's just a real quick lesson in that. Degree um, is the second portion they wanted me to teach on. And for example, this, 4x cubed, or even 6xym, or even 2x squared y. These are all considered third degree. Do you know why? Because they have three variables, three letters. One, two, three. This one has three x if we expanded it. This one has two x's and a y. Mm -hmm. Okay, if they ever ask you what degree is it, you count your letters, basically. Okay, so this would be third degree. This, second degree. Got it? Yep. Understand? So it depends on what degree it is based on um, what they have. Now, uh, that's the degree of the term. Let me write that down. Degree of the term. Terms are, um, that was x squared. That is the term. Okay, this one would be x, y, so it would be 1, 1. These would be the terms. Got it? Okay, but when they ask for the degree of the polynomial, Stay with me for just a second. For example, 3x squared plus xyz plus m. Okay, and then I'm going to want to write one more. 4x to the fifth power, yx to the third power, 2x squared plus 2. Okay. They're asking this time, what is the degree of the polynomial? The degree of the term was you counted your letters. The degree of the polynomial is um, you ask yourself which one has the most terms. This one has two, that one has three, that one has one of the terms. One, two, three, one, two. So you would say this is a third degree, whatever it has the most of, you would say this one is a third degree polynomial. Yep. This one has five. Three plus one would make four, two, and nothing there. So this would become a fifth degree because five is the most. That's kind of how you do it. So if they ask you for what degree polynomial, you're counting which one has the most to start it. If they're asking you what um, polynomial, the degree, uh, the degree of the term, you're just counting what is the degree of each of them. That's three. Okay? And that is lesson 48. In your lesson practice, I want to teach you A because it wasn't taught in the lesson. And so I'm going to write that down real quick. Okay? So you want to work it with me, you can. 
3 has the negative on the outside, and then it says 3x to the fifth power plus, I'm just going to take this for a second, 6x to the fourth power minus 7x to the third power minus 5, and then they add that plus, and I'm going to bring it down here, x to the fifth power minus x to the fourth power plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, very, very, very first step that you're going to take is within the parentheses going to change your minuses to a plus negative. Let's do that on this one too. Now, then on just your x's you want to put a 1. Okay, I've got it all set up. Now, the main thing I want to focus on is this negative that's on the outside of this. So basically, because this negative, you're actually going to say the opposite of a positive 3x squared becomes a negative. And if you want to say plus and then make this negative, this one will become negative, this one will become positive, and this one will become positive. So basically, you're applying this minus or this negative to each one of these. Okay? So basically, change the sign of each of these. Okay? But the very first step is to make sure you're taking these and changing those. And then you work it like normal. Okay? So I'm not going to do that part for you. But I just wanted to show you what to do right there. All right?